Hello, this is Kelly Crosley with InfoScience. Wanted to do a quick video on showing some of the capabilities of a project management site within SharePoint Online, Office 365's product. Um, the very first thing I want you to do is, of course, look at this and notice that this is actually a project management site within SharePoint Online so that when you actually go and create a site, or in this case a subsite, you will actually see that this comes up. You have the capability of you know, centralizing project information, team communication and collaboration is facilitated, uh, project reporting, SharePoint alerts, just like you can on any SharePoint list, as well as some management dashboards. But what I really wanted to show you was the ability to upload a project plan into a project site so that it looks like you're actually working in project. So. I have a demo site here and um, I also have a demo project plan so this this is just a project plan that I downloaded off the internet loaded inside um, Microsoft Project 2013 in fact uh, let me show you that uh, so you can kind of see here that it's standard project and what I'm going to do here is actually show you how you would actually upload this so it's actually pretty easy. What you do is you go to Save As, and part of this is just sync with SharePoint. So do you have the ability to actually sync it with a new SharePoint site or an existing one? Uh, call it as whatever you would like and put in the site address. When you actually hit Save here, it will automatically sync that to the project site <clears throat> that you're trying to um, sync it with in SharePoint Online. So I've actually already done that. I'm going to go ahead and show you this. If I go to tasks, what you will see are all of the individual tasks uh, for this project site. And in fact, you'll notice that when I head back here, you'll see like receive notice to proceed and sign contract. If I go over here, receive notice to proceed and sign contract. I have the ability within SharePoint to create a number of different views for a list as well. And uh, what I'm going to do here is click on the ellipsis for the additional options and go to Gantt chart. When I do that, up will come a Gantt chart and you can kind of see it looks just like Microsoft Project. Uh, you can go in and modify anything you want and it will modify the Gantt chart as a result. Now, one thing that's important to note, um, you have also the ability to, much like you do with anything else in SharePoint, uh, select through list, list settings, and then go into permissions. You have the ability to modify individual owners, project members, set up specific permission levels such as those that can only contribute versus read only or view only. So um, anyway, what I was hoping to do there is certainly show you the capabilities of just uploading from Microsoft Project 2013 to SharePoint Online. Hope that helped give you some ideas of what the capability is and uh, look forward to more videos.